Corazon Sumulong Cuanco, our first female president, was born on January 25, 1933, in Tarlac, Philippines. She was graduate from the College of Mount St. Vincent in New York on 1953 with a bachelor's degree in both French and mathematics. Upon returning to the Philippines, she enrolled in law school in Manila where she met Benigno Aquino Jr. and got married in 1954 and would go with one son and four daughters. Now, let us move on to the contribution of Corazon Aquino in the science and technology. President Cory Aquino replaced the National Science and Technology Authority into Department of Science and Technology, giving a representation to the cabinet. It was first handled by Antonio Arizaba. Next is the passing of the Philippine Inventors and Inventions Incentives Act. Republic Act 7459 says that the government should provide a program to set up a climate conductive to inventions and innovation, give encouragement and support to inventors who are creative and resourceful, as well as imbued with a deep sense of nationalism, and maximize the capability and productivity of inventors through incentives and other forms of assistance and support. It encourages scientists and inventions to bring the Philippines to its former position as second to Japan in terms of science and technology. Next, she put science and technology into her top three priority agenda towards economic recovery. Under the Medium Term Development Plan for 1987 to 1992, Science and technology's role in economic recovery and sustained economic growth was highlighted. Also, on August 8, 1988, Corazon created a Presidential Task Force for Science and Technology Master Plan to achieve newly industrialized country status by 2000. Corazon Aquino then gave the science and technology a development program such in agriculture and aquaculture. Rapid composting using trigoderma created impact in the countryside and reduced our dependence on imported fertilizer. As of February 1992, 253 mass production centers had been established nationwide, covering 4,980 hectares and benefiting 7,895 farmer adapters. Next is the development of the sex reversal technology which transforms female tilapia to male. As of May 1992, there were 26 pilot cooperators for tilapia production in 23 municipalities in 19 provinces. A dispersal unit at the Dale West main building pool was also set up where more than 5,000 fingerlings had so far been sold at nominal prices. In textile industry and development, breakthrough in the breeding of semi-temperate silkworm varieties led to commercial production of hybrid eggs with the establishment of multiplication centers in Isamis Oriental, La Trinidad, and Binguet. In nutrition, preparation of nutritious snacks and baby foods help ease malnutrition in depressed areas with the introduction of cereal legume-based food products. In construction, production of coconut lumber broadened the raw materials base for house construction, furniture making, and other wood products based ventures. In high technology, Development of Ascribe technology, a computer-based system of transcribing stenographic notes, which will be very helpful in the judicial and legislative systems in the country.